I'm sick of having everything either be too quiet, too loud, or too hard to adjust. So I built this, an open source DIY volume controller that allows me to control the volume on any program that I assign in Windows without having to open the mixer, tab out of my game, or even touch my computer. All I have to do is reach out my hand and spin one of the knobs on here. And honestly, after using this for a few weeks, I don't think I could go back to not having it. So I've wanted something like this for probably five years now. I've just wanted an easy way to be able to change the individual program volumes of things that I'm using. So let's say I'm playing a game and I need to clutch it. I can turn my music volume down, my game volume up. If I'm just talking with people, I can adjust Discord on the fly. But Windows doesn't make any of that easy. And there was really never any product that let you do this, except for maybe the Go XLR, which cost hundreds of dollars, and there's no way I was paying for that. Recently though, I found the Deej Mixer GitHub project, which is basically exactly what I was looking for. It's a pretty simple Arduino-based project that allows you to control the individual volume of programs in Windows as well as your mic for some simple electronics that cost about a tenth of what a GoXLR Mini cost, while having almost all the functionality except for the XLR input. So all you need for this project is an Arduino, preferably a Nano as it's smaller and cheaper than other models, as many 10,000 ohm linear potentiometers as you want controls, and these can be either sliders or rotary, just depending on what you want for your build. I use rotary because I want mine to have knobs and be a little bit smaller. Um, you need wires to connect everything up, and then you can use a breadboard to make the build just a little bit simpler. For the physical parts of the build, I found some nice looking metal knobs to go on top of the potentiometers, and then I 3D modeled and 3D printed the casing for mine, because I want it to be fully custom. So down below in the description, I'm gonna link all the parts that I used as well as the GitHub page for the project that has pretty detailed instructions on the actual build, setup, as well as a Discord server full of people who can answer any extra questions that you have. Once you have all your parts, all you're really doing is attaching the center or wiper pin of the potentiometer to one of the analog pins on the Arduino, and then wiring all the potentiometers in parallel with five volt power and ground from the Arduino. Just make sure you're staying consistent with which pin, left or right, you're using for 5 volt and ground on the potentiometers or else you're going to end up with some backwards controls. Because you only have one 5 volt and ground pin on the Arduino, I used a breadboard to essentially make a 5 volt rail for all of my potentiometers, but it isn't necessary and you could also just wire it up like the picture I'm showing right now. But what a breadboard is, is essentially just a board full of connections with the horizontal rows being all connected to each other. So if you attach the five volt pin from the Arduino right there, you're gonna get a five volt connection there, 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 and there that you can attach your potentiometers to. The same can be done with ground if you're making the rail. In terms of casing, you can really do whatever you want. There's a few cases tagged as Deej on Thingiverse that are also linked through the GitHub page. So you could use those if you wanted. Um, you could build a case fully from scratch. What I did is designed a case in SolidWorks um, that fit my needs exactly and then 3D printed it out. But you could even just use a cardboard box if you wanted to. You just need something to house the components. I opted to build mine fully custom because I had a few pretty specific requirements. I wanted to keep it pretty compact. I used rotary potentiometers, unlike most of the online builds that use sliders, because I wanted to keep mine smaller and have it fit underneath my monitors, as well as keep it look pretty professional and be as extremely stable. So I had a lot of supports. In order to keep it easily accessible, I added a removable back plate that's just friction fit on. So it's really easy to get in there um, when I was building it. So once you have your casing picked out and your wiring done, all you have to do is make sure your potentiometers are secured um, with a nut as well as their support pin being held in place so that they don't rotate around. And then you're just gonna plug the Arduino into your computer, download the Deej software from the GitHub page, and you just have a little bit of setup in the config file that you're gonna have to do. You have to select things like how many analog pins you used, so it knows how many controls you have. Um, select the COM port the Arduino is on, and you can find that in the device manager um, in Windows. And then just assign what you want the knobs to control. So you can select programs, Windows master volume, mic, and you can even do a list for each knob. So it's really customizable. Once you do all that, all you have to do is save your config file, run the Deej program, and then you'll be adjusting everything easy. So I know I kind of flew through that build section. So if you have any questions, be sure to check out the build instructions on the GitHub page, tweet them at me, or join the Deej Discord server because there's tons of members in it who are ready to help if you have any questions during your build. Now that I'm done with my Deej mixer, this thing has become an absolute must-have desk accessory for me. I keep my knobs bound to master, Chrome, Spotify, Discord, and whatever game I'm playing. 
and it just becomes second nature to constantly just do slight adjustments to the volume to get it absolutely perfect. And it's really just a lot more useful than you would think before you have it. So I really recommend that you guys build it. It's a pretty fun project. It's also really cool how customizable it is. You can have as little as one knob and go all the way up to eight. You can make it in whatever form factor you want, look however you want. It's just a pretty cool project. So I really hope that I inspired some of you guys to build your own mixers. And if you do, be sure to tweet them at me and drop them in the build section of the Deej Discord server as well, because I'm sure there's more people who want to see what other people are building out there. Um, but overall, I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully I'll be back making more videos. Um, but if you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that kind of stuff. Let me know if um, you like this kind of content, the more DIY kind of PC stuff. Um, but I think that's just about it. So thanks for watching. Bye.